Thank you so much for joining today. Um, I'm Liza, I'm marketing manager at GGV. Very excited to have you all here. I know we have people dialing in from all over. So good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Um, and I'm gonna hand it over to Robin um, uh, to kick things off. Thanks, Liza. Uh, we have our first masterclass with Workstream today. And so thank you for our special guest, Desmond and Hans Tong, who is our partner at GGV. So Hans will start first, and then um, I'll introduce Desmond after that. Great, thanks Liza. Thanks Robin for putting this together. Uh, I'll give a quick intro of GGV. Uh, we've been around since uh, 2000, and we have offices in Silicon Valley, San Francisco, uh, presence in New York, and then also in Singapore, Beijing, and Shanghai. Uh, we managed a bit over uh, six billion uh, dollars. Um, uh, the first ten years was only one point five billion. Uh, most of that came during the uh, second decade, where we really benefited from the rise of uh, smartphone and mobile internet. Um, we have um, three hundred forty-four investment to date. Um, over two hundred portfolio companies are active. Um, uh, of the of which we have uh, jet, we have about sixty companies that are, are unicorns in our portfolio of the active ones. And the ones that we have exited, uh, 32 of them uh, have been a billion or, or, or higher. Um, and th these are logos represent some of the companies we have invested uh, over, the, over the years. Um, and has been fun working with portfolios across geographies uh, in New York, um, West Coast, uh, US, uh, Latin, um, India, and obviously China and uh, Southeast Asia as well. We have uh, six partners. Um, both Robin and myself are based in uh, Silicon Valley, as is uh, uh, Liza. And, um, and uh, uh, Robin moved back to New York about uh, two or three years ago. And now in New York, we have um, 30 uh, portfolio companies now. Um, and we also have a very sizable team in Asia. Um, some of the companies we have invested in the, in the US as e-commerce related, including uh, uh, Affirm, uh, Airbnb, uh, Wish, StockX, uh, Peloton, um, to uh, Poshmark, uh, to name a few. And we have seen a rise of social media and we were early investor in uh, uh, Musical.ly, which we helped to turn into uh, part of uh, TikTok. And now the co-founder of Musical.ly is the CEO of uh, TikTok. And it has been interesting to see them go global and play a role in uh, their um, uh, expansion. So for today's, thank you, Han. So for today's masterclass, uh, we have Desmond Lim here. Uh, Desmond is the co-founder and CEO of Workstream. It is an automated hiring platform for companies hiring hourly workers. He's a graduate of Harvard and MIT lab and was a former PM at WeChat. And uh, Desmond, it, it, you know, is part of the GGV family. So thank you for doing this with us. And he's going to cover a couple of topics today about how to hire rapidly, some hot hiring trends, and what is something that's really important right now, which is contactless hiring at a time of COVID. Also, we would like to um, uh, ask the audience for any Q&A. Please feel free to submit them into the webinar directly, and then we will address those at the end or during the presentation. Thank you. Awesome. Um, well, thank you very much, Hans and, and, and this Robin. I'm very glad to be here today. Uh, so perhaps I should go about to share my screen and try to start from, from, from here. <laughs> Let me do that quickly. Uh, perfect. Can you all see my screen? Awesome. Yep. Cool. Thank you so much. Uh, so very glad to be here today to share more about this this like this like topic that I feel very very strongly about is how to hire fast. <laughs> uh, so I will just start with a quick overview about me and about what we are trying to build here, and from then on I will I will be going through a few key topics about some tactics and some trends on how to hire fast. So just to share more, this is something that is very close to me. Both my parents are both, they are both actually hourly folks. My dad, he's a, he's a driver and my mom, she's a cleaner. They both only finished fourth grade. So I'm the first to go to school and to come and to come to, to, to the US on my own. 
Um, so when I was it when I was back in college, I founded this actually Thai food restaurant selling tom yum curry for three years. It was very fun, <laughs> but it was also very tough having to hire manage many people. I I saw it in my actually senior year. Went out to join this actually Merrill Lynch and came came to, to the U.S. in actually 2013, where I went to school at this actually Harvard. Uh, then I moved out to the Bay Area in 2017. That was when I actually founded this 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 like this like company. Uh, so what we are trying to build here is this text-based hiring software for this company's hiring Audi folks. Today we work with a few hundred brands from Jumba Juice, um, Uber, H&M, MACD, Weston and more. So we have a very broad range of these clients um, that we now work with. Uh, through our software, everything is through texting and we found that that is the best way to reach many of these hourly folks fast and to get them hired fast. There is also a lot of this automation and AI in our software that can help you to save time. So with our software, we help you to source screen and to onboard our folks fast and to hire four times more people in half in half the time so this is a few um, screenshots of our app that i love to share um, as our sharing we do sourcing screening and onboarding through our software in the case for this sourcing our software helps you to post onto 30 over job bots, Indeed, Google Jobs, and more. We also have this text to apply feature that is very powerful. For this screening, you can create quizzes and forms through the phone, similar to what you see here. You can also um, schedule for a time to chat via video through our tool. In terms of this on, Boarding, we can help you to conduct uh, video training, slides, on board via, via this actually, via, via the phone and more. So next I will touch a bit on overview of some hiring trends. I'm sure as we all know in this group here, the, the past few weeks has really changed the way that teams hire uh, and people try to search for jobs. Uh, some, some of the trends that we see are that even though many restaurants, hotels, they are not hiring, uh, but there's actually many teams that are, you know, that are now still, 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 still trying to hire. And I, and, and I would say many of them are those who are probably on this call today, you know, this actually, this actually, online store, supermarket chains. Um, I would say many of our, this current clients who are in this space, they are trying to hire fast. <laughs> um, there's also some trends that you can see over here about one third of all folks that we have in our, this current database, they are not able to work because they are having to care for this family folks who are sick or some of their kids who are not able to go to school. So this is something that um, some trends that we see. There's also been a strong growth in terms of this job job posting. There's about a 4x growth in job job ads for these drivers, and almost like a 3x growth in job ads for these nurses. Uh, so these are some of the trends that we see. Uh, we also see some other trends. Uh, for those jobs, they are now still like open. Uh, many more people are trying for those same roles now. Uh, we have a client, uh, it's a 500 store gas, gas, gas station company. They have almost like a almost 10x growth in folks trying for jobs. So what this trend leads to is that from the point of view of this hiring manager, how do I see through people fast? How do I find folks who are a fit for the role because there's so much more noise now. We also see a trend of more people doing work from home. 
we strongly think that restaurants, cafes, supermarkets are going to like pivot to actually cater towards that need. We also see more of our current clients trying to do online screening via video, texting, and more. So these are some trends that we now see. And I will quickly go to the core of today's topic, and that is how do you hire fast as your team is like, you know, growing. I would say there's three key pillars that I would love to be able to share today. Um, they are sourcing, uh, being able to engage people better and trying to create your own brand. I would say those are the three key points that I have to share today. In terms of this sourcing, I would say that try to post onto as many channels as you can, right? Indeed, Google Jobs, Glassdoor, Craigslist. Um, there, there is also many niche, niche job boards that you can post to if you're trying to hire for this folks who work in this warehouse, folks who work in this supermarket. There's a lot of this niche job boards that you can try. You can even post to school, school channels. Um, so that's the first thing that I would say, widen your overall funnel. Also try posting to various social media groups. Um, those, are, those can work very well. Some of our clients even try to post Facebook ads uh, because ads can actually work very well too. <laughs> uh, many of our current folks also have this text to apply poster uh, through our tool uh, where, they, where folks are able to scan this actually QR code and they can, and they can try for a job via the Second pillar, um, so the next pillar, it is, it is really about trying to move fast, right? How do, you, how do you try to get back to folks fast when they are trying to apply for jobs? So that is very key. Um, we believe strongly that trying to, trying to engage people fast, trying to follow up fast, that is going to be very key, even more so in, 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 in the times of now. Thirdly, uh, trying to create your own brand. That is very key. People want to know when they all come to work for you that they are safe, right? It is much more than just pay. Um, we have read in the news that many people choose to not work because they would actually rather be safe than have to go in, right? And maybe run the risk. So many of our current clients today are trying to create their own brand, trying to be sure that they give more than just pay, um, trying to give them gloves, masks, and being sure that they are very safe and being able to create your own brand, that is very key. So next, I will share some like, some, like tactics on how to hire fast. Here's a list of seven uh, ways and tips that I think can be very helpful. <laughs> and I will quickly go through them one by one over here. I have tried every single one of them on my own and I can share that they work very well. <laughs> um, so the very first one is use, use texting, which I think I have shared. So texting has a open rate of about, I would say about 98%, whereas email have open rate of about, about 30%. So you know which way it is better to reach this actually Audi folks faster. So that is something that I would love to be able to um, share that. Secondly, hiring people, it is almost like sales. View it as a sales, a sales, a sales flow where some people are surely going to say no. Some people won't be a fit, right? So it is key that you have a very clear flow on how do you follow up. And the third point is, which I have really touched on, is how do you follow up and actually follow up fast. Uh, so that is very key because uh, people still do have a choice of jobs, right? Because um, how do you get to them fast and to be sure that they go through the whole, the, this whole process um, quickly, that will be key. 
Fourth point I have is set up an employee referral scheme. Um, as you all know, that works very well. Um, you can even give like up to like three to five hundred dollars for every person that is hired. Because if you think about it, uh, if you post onto job bots, that cost will be about the same, if not more, right? And we all know that if you have someone who is good and she brings on one of her friend, we all can think that her friend will probably be very strong too. <laughs> the fee point I have is like try to post early in this morning. Uh, people may not know this, but the timing of where and when you post onto many of these channels and these job bots can be very key. Um, through our software, we have something called AI smart posting. So we will tell you where and when to post. Should you post at 7 a.m., 5 a.m., which job bots should you post at? So I will say that try to run some trials as to how do you frame your jobs, the wording, the title, and when do you post them? All this can have a huge change in the folks that you get. Six point, try to share on closed groups. Either it's your school networks, Facebook groups, all those work very well. I must be in, I mean, just for me alone, I must be in a few hundred, if not thousand over groups in this Facebook LinkedIn <laughs> for me, because I found that this closed groups have worked very well in terms of when I'm trying to hire people or when I'm trying to help some of my current clients. Finally, um, host group hiring um, events, both offline, but also online. Um, in, in the past, we see many of our current clients try to host these offline events, um, try to have some food and drinks on a fixed day and a fixed time where they will have about 50 people or more show up. Um, that is a very good way to create some kind of peer, peer pressure, but also see that this is a job that many folks want. Um, and it is like a fixed time and it is a fixed day. So people who show up, um, you, you can actually save, save time. I would say that in this next few weeks, we see many of our current client trying to host online sessions. Uh, it could be for this hiring. It could be trying to share content. Uh, we, we have seen many of this to work very, very well. <laughs> Next, I will quickly share a case study of a, of a current client. It's called Envoy America. Um, so it is the first countrywide ride-sharing company that's built for this actually for people who are a bit older. Um, so they currently run across 24 states and about 300 like cities. Um, so as they work with some of these actually senior folks, it is very key that they use good tools and good software to really screen out people, to be sure that the folks who serve their clients um, have been checked and are someone that they all can trust. So over the past year of trying to partner with them, we now have sent more than 100,000 texts and more, helped them to source for more than 70,000 people and being, able, and being able to save more than 10 over hours. In our work with them, they have now built a very thorough one stage process. Um, in, they, they, they've been able to put in training videos, quizzes, background checks, online training, and more. So all this has been very helpful and very key for them to be able to hire fast. This is our point of like, you know, contact Sherry over there. So as she was sharing that through using our software, they've been really able to save time and to be able to hire people who are better and also faster. Next, I will go on to talk about my final point and my final topic, which is, which I think it is very key to everyone here. It is about 
contactless hiring and onboarding. So people come to ask me, what is, what is this? What is contactless hiring? Uh, it is really an end-to-end -end flow that is fully online. So I would think about that as four key steps to it. Sourcing, screening, scheduling, and also onboarding. These are the four key steps that we have. In the case for this sourcing, uh, being able to source online quickly and fast, that is very key. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. So I was saying like sourcing it is very key to do it online because if you if you think about it, there will be much less people who is going to come and walk to your store now uh, because they are just home. Right. So being able to source online, it is it is going to be very key. Secondly, for this screening. Being able to create quizzes and questions online, being able to screen people via like, like video, um, trying to use texting, trying to use texting as a way to actually um, to maybe talk to people. That is, that, is, that is going to be very helpful. Thirdly, scheduling. How do you quickly schedule meetings? Um, that takes quite a bit of time. Uh, in the past, many of our current clients, they would have to go back and forth via email, via the phone, trying to find a time. But through our software, you can choose your free timings and folks can self-choose self into your free time slots. Finally, onboarding, uh, trying to do a lot of this online, online work from W4, I9, training videos and guides. All those can all be done online too. So the, the core of it is how do you cut down the face-to-face -face, like time and this like, you know, meeting. Uh, many of our current clients, they all say, uh, I mean, there was one client who said she didn't want to allow, you know, strangers to come to her store because she hasn't, met them yet. So she really wanted to be able to spend time with them online, um, trying to meet them via Zoom, Skype, Google Hangouts and more, right? So you are able to actually hold this anywhere, which can be very helpful. One of the other thing that some of our current clients do is they try to get people trying for jobs to actually upload 30 to actually 60 second videos to, to, to try to talk to talk a bit more about themselves. And that's been very helpful uh, to be able to know more about them prior to even trying to, even trying to spend time. We also see many people trying to do this paperless, you know, you know online signing via the phone. Um, so this is really the whole flow. It is surely end to end. Screening, training, trying to onboard. All of this can be very, very helpful. So one more case study I have here with this J, J, Jason. Uh, so this is not him. He looks a bit older. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but this quote, it is from him. <laughs> so he talks about here about how he's been able to use our software to really cut the task of trying to onboard paperwork and he has been able to save more than 10 hours every single week. <laughs> Yeah, so I think that's the overview that I was very keen to share. Thank you all for your time. And here is my this email. Feel free to send me this email if you have any questions. Uh, but I believe next step, I'll be glad to take any questions that we have from this, from this group here today. So the Q&A box is open. I know we um, received one question. Um, can you see that one, Desmond? Uh, not yet. Um, I can read it. So, yeah. okay. um, I work closely with portfolio companies in food, transportation, e-commerce, retail, consumer, healthcare, where there is significant turnover. Can you share some tips on managing retainment post hiring? That's a very good point. I have, I have two very quick points to share over there, right? On how to keep, keep people more. I think the very first point is, choose people who are right, 
right? When you are trying to hire people, try to take more time to choose the folks who actually align with, with, with the job. Uh, many times in this actually hourly space, people tend to hire uh, folks who, who, I mean, they, they just don't spend enough time trying to, trying to talk to them. So they just hire them uh, in, even though they may, they may, may, may not be a fit for, 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 for the role. So I think that is the very first point. Second point is trying to really spend time to properly train them and to, and really put time into that. I think training is very key. We have seen training work very well for many of our current clients in terms of trying to keep, keep, keep like people. Um, so training is very key through the form of videos, quizzes, trying to create content that can be very helpful for these folks. I think that can be very, very, very powerful. Great. Um, a few more questions came in. So um, does Workstream provide ways, methods, connections to local job posting platform? Um, this particular person is in Vietnam. Yeah, so we do partner with many, um, many channels throughout uh, both in the US, but and, and, and more too. Uh, we do partner, I think in Southeast Asia, we work with this job street which I think it is, it is actually one of the biggest like, you know, channels over there. So yes, so we, we do work with, with, like, with, 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 with this many partners throughout the world in terms of this, this actually local job bots. And I would say that some of the current folks that we actually work with, uh, Facebook jobs, Google jobs, they are actually global, right? So they are not just in the US, they are, they, they, folks can try for jobs there in many parts of the world. So yes. <laughs> Great, um, those are the questions. Oh, there's a second question. Um, does Workstream provide weight? Oh, sorry. Um, does Workstream post jobs automatically based on rules and automation, automations for us? So does Workstream post jobs automatically based on rules and automations for us? Yes. It does. Uh, that, is, that is actually one of the key things that we do. So through our survey, we can actually help you to post onto 30 over job bots and this like, you know, channels. Uh, we even have something called AI smart sourcing where we can tell you when and where to post. Should you post on Fridays at 7 a.m.? Should you post on Tuesdays at 2? And which job bot should you post to? And how should you frame your words? How should you put your this, you know, you know, title? All of these small things can be very powerful and can be very helpful. Um, so yes, that is surely something that we all can do now. Yeah, and 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 I would say just to share that we we all can serve clients throughout the world. So beyond the US, we do work with with clients in this actually Southeast Asia and some other parts of the of the world too. So yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, we got another question. So um, what is the timeline to deploy Workstream within an organization? Um, it's typically quite fast. I would say it takes maybe about, I mean, based on the size, right? If you are maybe a few hundred people, it should take maybe about a couple of days to really get things set up. We have a very strong team on our current CS team that can help you to get fully set up. Um, if you're a bit bigger, right, it could take a couple of weeks to really set up the right flow in terms of the jobs of how you actually want to maybe screen people, how you want to talk to them and this current workflow. So it, it is really based on a base, 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 based on, on a size, probably it'll take anywhere from like a few days to, 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 a to a few weeks. So. Got it. Um, more questions coming in. So um, this person says, I always see a trade off between speedy hiring and the right hiring, especially for product and tech teams have found it more useful um, to get the right hire on board rather than focus on speed. However, I like the tips and tech. Oh, this is a comment. Sorry, not a question. <laughs> uh, but like the tips and tactics for speeding up looking for the right hires. Thanks for sharing. Um, this is a question. Does the software have any suggestion on hiring rate? hourly rate? 
benefits, et cetera, for different positions. So we know we are competitive when hiring. Yeah, that's a very, 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 very good point. So as you can see, right, in terms of this hiring, hiring hourly folks, right? Every city, every part, every part of, of, of the world, it, it can surely be very different in terms of pay, benefits, in terms of this actually job D. How do you frame things properly? One of the things that we all that 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 like we all now do is we are trying to collect a lot of this actually data. So we can use data and this AI to like tell you what kind of pay rate should should you give? What kind of this benefits coverage should you give? Because many of our current clients they may they may not know what kind of pay, what kind of coverage they all they all they all sh should give. Right. As of now, we have more than we have about more than one 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 million over people who have tried for jobs through our software, um, and we have tens of these millions of this actually data points. So we use all of this like you know data to to like tell you what is the best way to be able to um, choose people. How should you pay them, and how do you find folks who are who are who are who are like a fit. So yes. <laughs> Great, and we have one more question um, and then we'll close things out. So can Workstream screen CV for job matching degree or level before sending the profile to recruitment team? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, it's something we are trying to build out um, because for us, we focus on the space of this, of this actually hourly folks. We see that people care a bit less about your this CV but they care more about uh, how long have you worked in food, right? Um, do you know how to cook? Do you know how to uh, do you know how to handle goods, right? So they care a bit less about what school you are from, what jobs you were from 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 the past, but more about the current skill sets that that you know. So the, so so I would say that th this is something that we all can we all can build, but we haven't yet seen like a very very strong need from our current client base. Got it. Um, okay, so another question came in. Um, how big of an organization do you have to be to use Workstream? That one's from Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, called her out. No, no, this is great. So <laughs> I would say that um, it is a mix. I would say that um, our smallest client today can be as small as like 10, 20 people, right? So it is much less about the size. It is more about um, how many people you are trying to hire, right? If you're trying to hire one to two person every year, I would say that you are probably not, you're probably not like a fit for us because you, you, you can just use email, LinkedIn, Google Sheets. But if you're trying to hire at least three to four people every month, then I would say yes. The frequency and amount matters. Correct. Yes. A lot. <laughs> Yeah. Got it. And I just want to get to this last person's question. Um, given all the recent layoffs, um, can you comment about the best practices on how to let people go? And if Workstream manages this end of the hiring phase? Yeah, so yes, we do. So through our software, you, you can actually do, do, do that too, through our software. Uh, the best practices for trying to let people go, I mean, that is always tough. Um, what I think is good is there's a few tips that I have. First is do it early, do it clean, right? Try to do it at once. I think that is very key. Try to not do it twice or thrice because people will be very stressed. Like, am I going to be next, right? So try to do it once and very early on and very clean. Secondly is try to provide healthcare coverage as much as you can for these folks because um, they are the folks who are, who are the most who are the most at risk of actually falling sick. So trying to provide this actually healthcare coverage for them as much as you can, maybe for the next three to six months can be very, very helpful, even if they are not being paid. So, yep. So I would say those are two or three quick pointers that I have to share. Great, thank you so much, Desmond. I wanna give a quick shout out to David 
um, who says he started using Workstream and Mary and Angel have been wonderful in assisting in training and setup of their account. Um, he's looking forward to a streamlining hiring process with Workstream. So kudos, <laughs> this is already working for people. Thank you, Great. thank you so much, yeah. Yeah, um, so thank you all so much for joining. Thank you, Desmond, for your wonderful presentation, Hans and Robin. Um, everyone should have Desmond's email. We'll follow up with all of you who have attended um, with extra information. And there will be a blog post um, shortly in the next couple of days with a recap from this. But as always, please do um, reach out with any questions and stay tuned for more master classes um, from DGB and Evolving. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so Bye. much. Bye. Thank you, Desmond. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.